all welcome back to the fire and water cooking channel I'm Darren today I'm going to do a little uh, just a fast little lunch cook um, my wife and kids are out of town my wife's actually dropping them off for summer camp so she's out of town so it's just me for lunch today and I just so happen to have a single piece of uh, frozen grouper fillet that my neighbors gave us a couple weeks ago so really isn't enough for you know two people or four people so works perfect for me for lunch today and it works perfect for this um, Gourmet GMC 680 too because it doesn't need a whole lot of room. It's easy to throw, a, just throw it in there with a little bit of water. Right now I've got it set at 132. The water's still coming up to temperature. And I got my rack in. So I'm only going to cook it uh, sous vide for about 45 minutes. It is frozen. So one of the things it will do, it'll actually thaw it out for me. And then it will cook it up to about 132 and it'll probably take 15 minutes or so for it to thaw and then the remainder of that time it will cook and then as soon as that's done I will throw it in a uh, cast iron pan on my acorn Kamado grill and we'll give it a quick sear with some Cajun spices so as soon as the water comes up to temp I'll be back fish out of the bag um, out of the sous vide so it's done it doesn't take long like I said mostly what you're doing is thawing it out and cooking it a little bit so it looks pretty white right there I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the um, running wild smoky paprika so, get a little paprika taste I'm gonna put a little kosher salt Not a whole lot, just enough. A little bit of garlic powder. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of the cayenne pepper. So give it a little Cajun, Cajun spice to it there. Give it a little kick. Since it's, I'm just cooking just for me, I can give it a little more than uh, I normally would if my wife was here. So. All right, I'm going to do the other side, and then next I'll be out at the grill getting the pan hot so join me in a minute you can see the grills up over 600 degrees I put my cast iron pan in there melting the butter you see that butter's all melted so I'm gonna go ahead throw my fish in yeah, let me move that around a little bit get that butter moved around try to keep this fish in one piece it's not going to be in there very long, so I'm going to go ahead and let that grill up. I'm going to close the lid just to keep some more of that heat in there. That's pretty hot, so it's not like it's going to, you know, it's not going to cook very long. So I'm just going to rinse my pan off a little bit. Get some of that moisture off of there. And all I'm really doing with this fish is getting it crisped up and that crust on it because it's mostly cooked already so let me see and get my I don't want to burn my hand I know that pan's getting hot now go ahead and flip this real quick is hot. There we go. All right. Get it crisped up on both sides. Close this down. All right. Well, it should only take another minute or so. So I will guys, I will see you guys when I get it off the ground, right, guys. You see that? Turned out perfect. Um, Sure, some of you are asking why I go through the process of doing the sous vide and why I cook it out on the grill. A, um, like I said, the, with the sous vide, it lets you thaw the fish out 
and then get it cooked up mostly to temp that you want it at before you get it that quick uh, crust on the outside. Um, cooking it on that little grill, the grill heats up in within 15 minutes. I'm at cooking at five or 600 degrees. It makes it so I don't have to get my kitchen all smoky. It's right outside my kitchen door, so um, it's quick. It gets hotter than I could get it on my stove. And then I don't have to worry about cleaning all the smoke out of the house. So it's actually a lot more convenient to me as far as clean up and just keeping the smoke out of the house um, than doing it on the stove. Cooked it in my cast iron pan. So just take another look. I'm going to go ahead and take a bite and let you guys know how mm. moist and flaky. Cooked perfect, not overcooked. It's got that little bit of kick of the cayenne pepper. That smoky paprika gives it that little bit of a smoke and salt, garlic. I'm going to go finish this, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave some comments down below. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, follow us on Facebook, and also on Instagram. And thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next video.